This video is brought to you by Raffle Press. October is a really interesting month. It is the beginning of the fourth quarter, which means it is the beginning of holiday season. And for many business owners, including bloggers and store owners, that means that it is the opportunity for you to make the majority of your money during this fourth quarter. And that's why it is so important. So I'm going to highlight some of the tutorials that we shared in September to get you ready. And then make sure you stick around to the end because I have a specific question for you, as well as a little mini announcement. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. And so this month, some of the tutorials that we did was if you're just getting started and you want to play around with WordPress, but you don't want to set up hosting just yet, you just want to see how it works for you. We have put together a how to create a local WordPress site using XAMPP. XAMPP is just a technology or a software that allows you to install WordPress locally on your computer and you don't need internet you can use this to play around and see how you like WordPress. You can install themes and plugins and just get a feel for it. If you're also just getting started and you're still even wondering the difference between a couple of different applications, such as what is the difference between Webflow and WordPress, we'll compare the two and show you which one we think is best. Next, if you've been using and creating any kind of content, a lot of times people will create in their favorite document application process, like a Microsoft Word or Google Docs. And then they'll copy that over to WordPress posts. And a lot of times people will have formatting issues. So we went through the whole process of how to copy and paste without having those formatting issues. So you can get rid of that process. Along with that, there's always been this thing of how do I edit the footer? So if you want to remove the copyright date or the powered by or any of that down in the footer, it used to be kind of a difficult process where you had to know a little bit of code, a little bit of CSS, but we walk you through step by step on how to edit the footer in WordPress and it's super easy nowadays. Next, if you have acquired a website or if you're updating an older website that you've been working on for years, a lot of times people, especially in the 90s and 2000s, accidentally kept the date in the URL, which is no big deal. It just makes it a little bit cluttered. And a lot of times about right now, we get a lot of questions on how do I remove that date from WordPress just because it dates the post, even if you've updated the content, it still shows the outdated date in the URL. So a lot of people want to remove that, but there's a tricky part of it. The actual process is quite simple, but you also want to make sure that you go through this tutorial and how to do this, because if you do it incorrectly, then you will lose your index in your rankings in Google and other search results. So we show you how to do it the right way. So you don't lose any rankings in search engines. Next, if you do a lot of form applications or anything on the back end where you get a form and you need to do something with it, we'll walk you through the whole process of how to upload files from a WordPress form to Google Drive. This is perfect if you're getting job applications or resumes or uh, quote order forms and you need a place to store them. We'll show you how you can do that. And then if you need to manage track or even say control the file downloads in WordPress, We'll show you how to do that as well. This is perfect if you want to manage or track or even control any kind of download like an ebook or content upgrade or things like that. We'll walk you through this here. Next, let's talk about dark mode. A lot of applications have set up dark mode, say on your iOS phone or your Android phone. And so we've shown you how you can set up dark mode on your WordPress site for your users as well. This next one is a really cool feature on how to personalize content to different users on your WordPress website. This means you can personalize logged in users, not logged in users, maybe people who have come to your website before, maybe brand new people who've never been to your website before, or even customers. We'll show you how you can personalize this to help them on that journey throughout your website. And we've seen this a little bit before. In fact, I had a couple of email newsletters back. He shared that we were getting hit with sign up spam. And if that is you as well, we've put together a tutorial on how to prevent sign up spam on your newsletter. This is pretty important because if you have an email service provider, a lot of times they charge by the subscriber. And so if you have all these spam subscribers, it's really increasing your rate without being beneficial for you at all. We know you like a lot of tools and plugins. So we've rounded up seven of the best Twitter plugins for WordPress in 2020. So you can find ways to integrate Twitter into your WordPress website. You've also set up the nine best lead generation WordPress plugins. So if your business is all about lead generation, then make sure you watch this where we compare nine of the best ones for WordPress. And if you're getting into fashion, you want to sell clothing. 
we have put together 21 of the best clothing store themes for WordPress so you can start selling. Speaking about selling, if you don't want to manufacture your own clothes or your own products, then we've also put together how to make a print on demand shop in WordPress. It's really cool. And in fact, let me know in the comments below if you want me to create a video tutorial on this. It said I set up this process a couple of years ago and it was actually a really fun process because you don't have to manufacture anything. You set up your site, you set up the payments, and then you have a really valid business. And now for the part that I want your input on. As I told you, we are in October. It is the final three months of the year, which means most companies make the bulk of their money during this quarter, during this holiday season. And if you are a website or a blog and you're thinking, I'm just a blogger, that is no different for you. You are a business if you're looking to make money with your website. And so Saya is going to do a live YouTube live where he'll share some of the prep work that we go into to make sure that we have a lot of growth during this holiday season. And he's going to share some tips and ideas that you can do. But what we want to know is let us know in the comments below some specific questions that you want to know that you want him to cover about Q4 or about the holiday season. Even if it's just, I've never done this before. How do I even get started? Make sure you put those in the comments below so we can have those when we go live later on in the month. And as always, thanks for watching.